Artificial intelligence updates uh, February 28th, last day of February. And there are a lot of stuff as usual. We start with uh, Claude, ChatGPT, Alibaba, <laughs> Metalama, Micro, many new models, and then a lot of other stuff. So first, Claude 3.7. Um, previous model uh, version was 3.5, uh, 3.7 uh, already uh, operational. I was using it last couple of days, works great. Uh, bet on benchmarks, uh, bet on everything. So new version available on all plans, has a hybrid reasoning model. So what it means is uh, there is a haiku at the entrance which evaluates the question and then decides what to do to use reasoning or not to use reasoning. Uh, pretty fast, uh, maybe near instance re responses. For me, it was generating like thousand lines of code at a time uh, and the code was then running flawlessly. Um, amazing, I, I really, really like it. Uh, particularly strong improvements in coding and front-end web development. And uh, GitHub integration allows to connect repositories directly to Claude. Uh, command line tool. So they created a Claude code, which I haven't used, but uh, well, it, it is available. Okay, next, uh, OpenAI released uh, their Orion, uh, which is uh, ChatGPT 4.5. And uh, I don't know, it's, uh, well, it's not a reasoning model. It, it's very big and extremely expensive. So the average uh, token cost is $68 per million tokens, which is like 10 times more than others uh, charging, not 10, like 100 times more. I mean, really expensive. Um, well, uh, it's largest and best model. It feels natural, has warmth and intuitiveness, reduced hallucination, which is good, but it's still kind of silly. Uh, and at coding, it's not good at all. Uh, broader knowledge base, uh, improved ability to follow user intent, uh, great at emotional intelligence, but, uh, oh gosh, sorry, I have a major problem here. Okay, because of my cat. Okay, uh, reduced hallucination, broader knowledge base, uh, great emotional intelligence, better at writing, coding, and solving problems. Well, I don't know about coding. It's uh, anyway scaled up pre training and post training, unsupervised learning, better pattern recognition, better ability to draw connections, generate creative insights without reasoning. So, this model is not reasoning model, it's uh, without reasoning. Has access to the latest up to date information with search. Uh, the knowledge cutoff date, if you ask it, it tells that it's like 23. Uh, supports file and image uploads, uh, can use converts, uh, not multimodal yet. So uh, people were first very excited and then decided not to be very excited. Uh, th this is a YouTube video by Fireship, which provides very good summary. Uh, well, very funny and, as well. Anyway. Uh, uh, more new models. So Alibaba, the Chinese, uh, they, they produce a lot of open, uh, open source models. So now they came up with uh, this uh, QWQ Max uh, preview, right? As, well, it's supposed to challenge uh, DeepSeek R1 and uh, OpenAI. And uh, Alibaba uh, pledges to invest $53 billion uh, dollars on cloud and AI architecture in the next three years. So yeah, this is a major player. Meta Llama uh, SWE RL 70B, new reasoning model, right? So advanced reasoning achieves 41% uh, solve rate on this uh, bench. Uh, well, good. And then Microsoft uh, created yet another Phi 4 uh, model. Uh, Phi uh, family of models is pretty big, so th this is the like image showing di different models. Uh, version four was introduced in December, so it's not something new. What they added uh, this week is the multimodal version of the model. Uh, the size of the model is uh, not very big; I think it's like 14 billion parameters. Strong reasoning capabilities, math, logic. Uh, multimodal, function calling, multi uh, enhanced safety, available on Hugging Face, Azure, and uh, GitHub. So you can just go on Olama, you will see 5.4, but not multimodal version. For multimodal, you need to go to other places. 
okay um, google ai core scientist uh, so this is a system which is a multi-agent system which is supposed to help a scientist uh, to generate a hypothesis uh, to do research proposals uh, well good so we have like a scientist assistant or scientist colleague uh, next uh, replacing ocr solutions there are multiple solutions on the market uh, to do optical character recognition to extract information from documents in a structured format uh, i should have included here also there is another framework from meta but um, he, he, here is the post which discusses this and uh, basically saying that uh, large language models are ahead of uh, like traditional ways to do OCR, so they are better. And uh, here from Allen Institute of AI, which all they do is completely open source, so they created a system, uh, OLM OCR, which converts docs into plain text. So you can just use that. Okay, uh, next I want to talk about Vibe coding because this is what I'm doing on a daily basis. I love it. And the term Vibe coding was coined by Andre Karpathy. This is his uh, picture. You remember him. He was a Stanford professor, then OpenAI co-founder, then worked at Tesla, then OpenAI. Now he has his own company concentrated on education. And he released a couple of long videos which are excellent on YouTube. I highly recommend to find him on YouTube and uh, listen to these lectures. He, he is amazing. So his approach is very simple. I tried to make a kind of a diagram of what's going on. So you create a prompt. And uh, this text natural language prompt, which is kind of code behind the code. So you tell uh, the system, the let's say Claude, uh, what you wanted to write, and it writes code. Then you take this code, you run it, and if you something is uh, not right, then you change your prompt and you continue going in, in the loop until it works. The key is you don't touch the code ever. You absolutely don't do any like um, changes with your own hands. The only thing you allow to, to change is, is the prompt. So for example, when I'm using it, I have a directory where I'm writing the script. I have two files. One is the text file and another is Python file. And I only change the text file. It's fun. So instead of being uh, like slaving over writing code, now I'm more like a manager, like a slave driver. I tell it what to do and then it does it. And Claude is very good at that. I tried to use other models, for example, GPT it, and uh, Google, they're not good at all. So, and another thing on every iteration, I open a fresh chat window so it uh, to decrease like the, the length of the context the length of the history so it will be cheaper and faster and um, like cleaner to do it this way uh, next uh, sakana ai ai could engineer so what it does it converts pytorch into optimized cuda kernels uh, which uh, uh, helps to achieve uh, 10 to 100 times speed ups over standard uh, PyTorch operations, uh, which is great. Uh, next, uh, these are robots, uh, Helix, a home robot from Figure AI. Remember, Figure AI was originally sponsored uh, heavily by OpenAI, but now they dissolved this partnership because they created their own uh, uh, AI system, which is called Helix. And it understands spoken instructions, can handle unfamiliar objects, uses a large model for understanding and a smaller, faster model for precise movements. So it's uh, pretty uh, fast and precise. And they showed how you can ask the robot to do something. And by the way, uh, there are maybe more than one robots and they can collaborate. Uh, so, for example, here uh, on this picture, they're putting away unseen groceries using voice commands. Uh, and another thing, it can train on a relatively small amount of data. Another piece of news, Google wins a $2.5 billion contract with Salesforce. So Salesforce agents, um, AI agents, will use Google Gemini. And this was competition like uh, Google versus Microsoft, and uh, Google has won. Uh, another interesting thing for investors, so Crunchbase's AI predicts startup success with 95% accuracy. So this is, this is something. 
Ok, uh, next. Uh, uh, Jacques, how to say, Jacques uh, CPU. Um, so this uh, big uh, CPU uh, maker from China, uh, they claim that they can uh, run DeepSeek, uh, big, big DeepSeek model, which is open source and which is big, 671 billion parameters. They can run it on a server which doesn't have GPU and it runs well. So this is yet another development. Uh, Voice-based AI applications are improving very rapidly. There are a, lo a lot of them, and uh, I, I just wanted to say that it's happening. There is direct voice-in, voice-out models, and there are pipelines with agentic workflow. Uh, for speed, they use pre-response technique uh, to reduce latency. And uh, you see the latency goes down from uh, like 10 times by using this technique. Infrastructure spending continues to grow. Amazon, uh, more than 100 billion. Alphabet, which is Google, 75 billion. Meta, 65 billion. Microsoft, 94 billion. So this is uh, continues to grow, no end. A coconut by Meta. So it's a vector-based AI reasoning. So processes uh, ch chains of thought as vectors instead of instead of text. Outperform traditional text-based reasoning on certain data sets allows for more efficient processing with fewer tokens. Well, uh, chain of thought uh, reasoning models, it's a very hot area. So this is um, new work from Meta. I should have added the link here. Anyway, um, DeepSeek uh, released uh, a lot of their libraries uh, in open source. Uh, so th these are two examples. This is DeepEP communication library for a mixture of expert uh, expert parallelism ep and deep gem which is general matrix um, multiplication they both of them on github but there are more stuff on github if you go on deep ckai uh, so this is uh, meta coconut okay 11 labs which is a, a famous uh, startup uh, doing a, a text uh, to a speech and the speech to text so they they have this new model called scribe uh, which supports 99 languages with very high accuracy uh, next uh, stanford octa tools so it's an open source uh, complex reasoning agentic framework with extensible tools so this is kind of a diagram how it works and uh, you, you start with uh, planning uh, on a high level they then go on the low level and then execute uh, so coming from Stanford. Uh, next, um, Amazon uh, released Alexa Plus. So this is a service uh, $20 a month. Or if you have Amazon Prime, like I have, it is free. And it uses AI uh, like as a dig digital assistant. So uh, can handle complex uh, tasks, making reservation, buying tickets. Uh, so nothing new here uh, other than uh, it is like on a device or like uh, Alexa application. Uh, it uses different AI models to choose the best one for each job. So routing between models, this is common. Alexa Plus remembers your preferences and keeps track of conversations. Uh, and it works with many services. Okay. Tencent uh, Hanyan Turbo SAI model can outrun DeepSeek. So uh, Tencent is, is a huge company in China and they created the, the model and they claim that uh, it is competitive with uh, DeepSeek and it runs faster. So this is, this is great. Uh, next is the leaderboard, which was updated today, just like 15 minutes before this seminar. <laughs> And uh, you see, it was updated, uh, uh, last updated 27th, but uh, published only today, 28th. So what you see is that for English only queries and for coding, uh, Grok3 is on the first place, right? And uh, if you look at uh, ChatGPT for all latest, uh, the, the yellow is uh, OpenAI. So you see the far below and the difference uh, okay, it is uh, significant in terms of error, definitely uh, XAI, Grok, uh, behaves better. For coding, I'm so happy to see Claude again closer to the top. So they have uh, Chocolate, uh, which is Grok 3, 
on the first place, uh, Gemini on the second, and Claude on the third. But again, practically, because I tried, uh, I didn't try uh, uh, Grok, but I, I did uh, try Gemini, and uh, Claude is better. Claude is just better. Um, anyway, uh, so you see a lot of uh, models from China. Some of them with the green circle is open source. Others are not open source. And uh, for coding, the O3 Mini High uh, goes on this place. But, you know, practically, you don't want to use it because what happens, it's slow. Um, uh, O3 Mini High means more reasoning. It's really, really slow. Like, no comparison. If you try side-by-side side, Claude and O3 Mini High, like, no comparison. Claude is just so much uh, more practical. Uh, next is uh, Web Dev Arena. So web.lmarena.ai leaderboard, right? And this is which model is the best for web development. And look the first places, Claude 3.7 and Claude 3.5. Then goes uh, DeepSeek, uh, Grok, and uh, so on. Next, about jobs. Uh, I found this interesting um, graphics. Uh, so this shows a number of uh, uh, job positions, uh, like opening for uh, software development. And you see that in uh, 20th, so this is the COVID started. This is, uh, we have COVID and uh, we have uh, zero interest rates. This is peak. And then it went down, right? Here, similar graphs, but compared in different countries, you see the same pattern. Compared software dev with all other postings. You see software development uh, went down like really significantly. Here it is 60 and here it is like 120, right? Uh, and this is uh, for di different types of jobs. Uh, so software development, definitely mm, there is a big hit, like bigger than with other professions. I should have included AI jobs here, but AI jobs are growing. And uh, like, if you think what profession should they choose to have some job stability? Well, the answer is simple, AI development. It is in huge demand, uh, money is poured in, uh, like uh, no problem. Okay, about me, this is me and thank you.